to Sure. Well, th this was a, about a year-long uh, joint project, our station and the Dallas Morning News uh, working together on this. Uh, it started really with talking to some military families who described concerns that they had about treatment that soldiers had received within the Army's warrior transition units around the country, units that were set up to help injured soldiers heal. And we, we basically, as we talked with those soldiers and, and listened to their concerns, we filed a, a number of FOIA requests looking for records, trying to determine what had happened um, over the years. We found many, many similar complaints, hundreds of similar complaints at units all over the country. Um, and how does something like that work, a joint venture where you have two different uh, you know, news organizations working on the same story, just logistically, how does that uh, work, at least in this case? It was a process. You know, we at, be, at the beginning of the process, the two reporting teams really had to get to know each other. We hadn't worked together from the beginning on, on a, a project <laughs> like this, even though the two organizations have had a joint agreement to work together on break news and things uh, over the years. We hadn't done an investigative project from the very beginning, so it really took a lot of time just meeting together as a group uh, to talk about things along the way, getting the editors uh, in the room together, the, the two photographers together, um, you know, to, uh, to talk about the process along the way. Um, does this uh, award kind of validate your work in any way? Do you feel like just being recognized for something maybe make it more important to you in any way? It's always great to be recognized by colleagues, and, and you know, we're, we're so grateful that they appreciate the work and, and have recognized it with this award. Um, what's been most meaningful, I think, for us is seeing some of the change that's occurred after the, the story's aired. Uh, the Army has ordered additional training uh, for the people who run these units around the country. Uh, there's been a lot of discussion at the congressional level, and, and there's some examinations going on now at the congressional level of what's happening in these units. And so, for us, that kind of change and follow-up is also really re rewarding. We're certainly honored by this award. It's it's terrific, and, and our entire team's really excited about it. Uh, do you plan any follow-up, maybe a little down the line, um, maybe once some change actually has occurred? We do. We've done a number of follow-up stories over the course of a year. I think uh, we're up to 10 or 12 reports, you know, on, on this over the course of that year. Uh, we will continue to follow it as things move forward, and, and we'll see if there are additional changes that happen. We did a story uh, just a, a couple of weeks ago talking with a soldier who said that he's seen significant improvement at the Warrior Transition Unit um, where, where he was treated. Is there anything you guys are kind of looking forward to now, kind of modeled after this type of story, you know, to bring about change? We learned a lot, you know, working for the first time in a, in a partnership with our friends at the Dallas Morning News. We've got another one underway right now, uh, the, our investigative team working with another reporter there. Uh, so we look forward to continuing that as well. Awesome. That should yeah. be good. Thank you. Thank you Congrats very much.